I just want to be clear that while Donald Trump and others in positions of power, people closely associated with him, are unlikely to ever see a day in prison, the people who Trump incited to riot in the nation's capital on January 6th are facing consequences. Some of whom will probably face several years behind bars, maybe even decades behind bars. And a good example of that is an oath keeper by the name of Joshua James. He has been charged with sedition. And he has actually decided to plead guilty to those charges. And he says that he will testify and cooperate with authorities. Joshua James, a 34 year old, pleaded guilty to seditious conspiracy and obstruction of justice after communicating and congregating with several other members of the far right group before and during the Capitol riot. The far right group that we're referring to here, of course, is the Oath Keepers. The Alabama resident was originally charged last April, but last month was among the 11 individuals to be hit with seditious conspiracy charges alongside Oath Keepers founder, Stuart Rhodes. Now he faces a maximum of 20 years in prison, although prosecutors argue that he's likely to get about seven years in prison and a $30,000 fine. The indictment also alleges that he and Robert Minuta, another Oath Keeper, drove to the Capitol in a golf cart from the group's DC hotel. While entering the Capitol building, James and Minuta uh, pushed past Capitol Police officers who placed their hands on James and Minuta in unsuccessful attempts to stop them from advancing toward the rotunda. Um, now, Minuta has pleaded not guilty. We'll see how that works out for him. But once in the building, prosecutors argue uh, that he berated and taunted several officers in riot gear before the pair forcefully entered onto the Capitol building or into the Capitol building through the east side rotunda doors. James and Minuta were allegedly both wearing military gear and prosecutors said that at one point, James was seen assaulting law enforcement officers inside the Capitol building while screaming, get out of my Capitol, this is my effing building. Yeah, so uh, the most interesting part of the story is sedition charges and he pled guilty. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, so that's the part that I thought would be the hardest to prove uh, that, yeah, w- w- did they commit fraud as now Donald Trump is, is accused of, at least in some legal documents? Uh, yeah, well, of course they did. They tried to get the vice president to throw the election. <laughs> that's the definition of fraud. They obviously did that. They had the Green Bay sweep that Steve Bannon and, and Peter Navarro talk about, where they were going to, they had fake electors that they were going to put into place. I mean, that's all criminal. That's all a conspiracy against the United States government. But sedition is super heavy charge. And apparently, ladies and gentlemen, they got him. This, this, this guy's pleading guilty. He's going to turn evidence against other people. He's willing to go to jail for seven years at least. You're not gonna plead guilty, that's not a light sentence, right? You're not gonna plead guilty to that unless they had overwhelming evidence. And he's apparently worked in security for Roger Stone, one of Donald Trump's closest advisors. If he turns evidence against Roger Stone, first of all, that's awesome. And then if Roger Stone or he have evidence against Donald Trump, that could be the mother load. So I'm surprised by this story. I think it's really interesting. And once one person flips, usually you got dominoes. So yeah, yeah. And I I can't wait to see the evidence that they have. Because they they might have been stupid enough to write it down. Look, what what I think I'm just hoping that all the people who got fooled into carrying out Donald Trump's dirty deeds. I mean, this guy was offering um, or providing free security to Roger Stone on January 6th. Like he's got to feel like a schmuck. Yeah. My only ask is just be smarter and don't get suckered into, don't get incited into committing ridiculous crimes by these fraudsters. It's just so it's depressing, it's sad because they got suckered into doing this. Look, I'm not crying any tears for them. Let me be clear about that. But the people who did the incitement, people like Donald Trump will never see the inside of a jail cell. Let's be clear about that. So yeah, so last thing guys, the part about Stone and and Trump is speculation because we don't know yet. We don't know the evidence that they have. It's possible that they just have overwhelming evidence about the Oath Keepers, 
which is already a group with violent tendencies. So if they had planned to do violence on their own or with other right wing paramilitary groups and they were gonna commit sedition, that's also possible. So they might have evidence on that and this guy's looking to not get 20 years but get seven possible. So, But if he has evidence on the bigger guys, that would be an earth shattering story. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.